what's going on guys this is your boy euro and um we got a special video for today i normally don't do review reviews for um youtube i guess um but this is a special one because this is for the people who are like me that or strictly kind of to console i've recently switched to pc but um this has caught my attention because it's kind of a, I guess I could say hybrid because you're getting the power or games, I should say, of Xbox, but on handheld, which is very interesting. Um, I just downloaded it today, so I haven't really did a full testing. Um, I got a nice little game pad. I'm not here to do a review for that, but um, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but OK, let's get into it. Uh, so oh, we got a little like a little glare i don't know if this is from the okay i don't know exactly how this is working but okay all right so i know you have to switch to cloud you can switch to pc and console but i'm gonna go to cloud and we'll try gears so oh, that loads up so this is interesting because this is kind of something as an xbox fan that i've always wanted um, because it's something that we've usually said by an X, why, like, why hasn't the Xbox come up with a handheld yet? You know, nothing, we haven't had anything to battle the Vita or the PSP, you know, the DS's, anything. We've never had anything for that. So this could be the answer that we've been looking for, you know, because I mean, we have the whole selection. And so far, it looks good. Um, resolution and everything looks good. Look, it's compatible. I mean, as far as, of course, it's not um, PC or console quality, but it looks it looks pretty good. And for um, the people that are skeptical about it, it's more of a point of why not. If you're paying for Game Pass, you probably should get all your money's worth and just go ahead and it's like why not you're just paying for features and benefits that you're not using um they have a few games on here that you actually don't need a gamepad for like streets of rage for but most of the games you do they do require that you have a con i mean a uh, controller so you could purchase a controller like this off of amazon or you can actually use your actual xbox controller as a bluetooth or something in that nature um, like most games like Halo and everything would probably recommend that So let's try something like uh, Let's try Horde. I know I'm gonna play Horde anyway, so let's try that uh, Let's see let's try some f uh, Let's try some race to some frenzy We're gonna play on beginner. I'm not trying to not trying to show off So, so far it's looking good um, all your info syncs over um, all my information from the you know console and PC syncs over you see all my experience is still here um, so that's good you know that's always a good thing cloud might be the future uh, one thing is that unfortunately this gamepad does not have an external speaker so it's, play it's playing off my phone which is not really a problem um, yeah, so I mean, realistically, because you know, you would probably have a, a wireless headset or something, so that's not really too bad. Um, such so normally I wouldn't see myself playing out out loud like this anyway, so that could, it's not really a problem. But it's pretty much this practically looks like if I wanted to play Xbox handheld. If Xbox had a handheld, this would be it. This is literally what it would be like. Gears of War Mobile. This is literally what Gears of War Mobile would be. I just want to see uh, as far as the frames. How does the frames hold up? Because Gears of War is a high frame game. I'm interested to see how the frames will hold up once you start you know, rolling around and getting in cover. It's kind of weird. Because this is actually my first time playing any kind of like I've never played Gears of War Mobile before, so it actually feels kind of weird. 
It's like I'm playing Gears of War on a uh, Nintendo Switch. seconds. It's a good thing I chose beginner. So, okay, so we're feeling good. There's not really much a latency. Well, I mean, as far as the controller goes. It feels good. Gears might not be the per precise game to play for this it, it probably will be a little bit difficult but I'm down for the challenge let's see let me see Come on. Got yeah frames are holding up This is pretty damn good. This is pure take your take your game to work. Uh, get a couple friends because this is also uh, for iOS as well. All right, we got a little frame drop there. I can see that slight frame drop. It's gonna take a little bit of practice to play it like you normally would. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of more practice to uh, get used to it like how you would on console or PC, but oh, we got another frame drop, saw that one. And by the way, this is a Note 9, by the way. I know um, the Note, my Note is pretty uh, a few years old, so it's not really outdated. It's still pretty powerful as far as the, the phone community goes. But you know what I mean, this is, uh, we've had at least two more Notes come out after this, so. The next, you know, I mean, newer phones probably will handle this a lot better than my phone, especially uh, with the new iPhone X's and all that stuff. I'm not really an iOS man, so I kind of have a hard time talking about iPhones, but I think you get the idea. So newer phones will probably crush this. Um, another cool feature about it is uh, a lot of these game pads actually will have a button for you to, uh, like if you want to do screenshots, like this one has a cool little feature where you can press that. And it does a screenshot for you. Like a lot of these game pads are actually compatible with uh with game pads. So uh, they, some of them have an Xbox symbol, or some of them have a some kind of symbol. You know, and they're just basically built for this. Since uh, I don't think the Xbox actually has one for Microsoft already. So basically, you had to pick and choose uh, something that you would like. They don't cost that much. This one was about seventy dollars. I did a few pricing around I didn't really know which one to get um, some of them are ranging about um, about 50 to 100 dollars realistically uh, yeah realistically I think I'm gonna go down here okay. yeah I'm having a hard time rolling this is weird it's weird placement in my hand but uh this is this is pretty great this saves most people from having to want to get home to play Gears of War or Halo or uh, I guess I think Forza is also here. And it's a lot of games. They have a big list. They have a very big list of games. And why that being interesting because this kind of is a battle for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the Switch is good, but I don't really see myself 
wanting um, to purchase a Switch. There have been plenty of times where, like, I've seen myself, like, I've actually had a Nintendo Switch in my cart, my Amazon wish list or cart, many of times. And I just never went along with it because it's, um, I go to the question of what am I going to play? Um, who, who am I going to play with? Uh, is there so many questions? Um, I got to get a new membership where all my friends are already on the Xbox. Um, yeah, I see you, man. I see you. Uh, but uh, most of my friends are already on the Xbox. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't have to make big of a switch. I'm, it's the same membership, so I don't really have to go through much. This solves all that questions. I'm not trying to steer away from anybody from getting the Switch. The Switch is great still. Um, but you know, best handheld of course. But this is also very awesome for um, console and PC players who um, use Game, Play Game Pass Ultimate. And I actually highly recommend it. Because it's like, like I said, you're already paying for the feature. Why not use it? Um, this is, I believe it's actually still in beta mode. Uh, hopefully don't get mad because I'm not helping. But uh, this is, I believe it's still in beta mode, but for this to be beta, this is pretty damn good. Um, you still have voice chat, um, voice chat features, everything from console is literally here. You can even map the buttons if you like. Uh, so really, is like I said, is why not? Like, I uh, really don't see a reason for you not to try this unless you just want to play your games at home. Uh, for people that do desk jobs or... Um, you, do, you still got some people working from home realistically you could be using your laptop for work while you playing the game on this uh, it's, it's like why not uh, but yeah I could see myself really getting into this um, it saves the data you don't have to start over it's, everything is just perfect we got another frame drop so uh, but I think that another thing to know is that I'm uh, am I playing on Wi-Fi yeah I am playing on Wi-Fi um, I'm assuming the better the Wi-Fi, the better the resolution. That's another thing to probably consider. But uh, yeah, yeah that's uh, they're probably gonna hate me for this. But let's jump out this game. That was just a demo. Uh, it runs smooth, even though I'm dropping some frames. There are no hiccups. Literally, uh, everything is. I'm not getting any input lag. Everything is still coming smooth, and there's no latency or anything like that. Yes, this is damn good. This is very good. All right, guys. So with that being said, I'm not going to talk much about this. I'm actually about to get into this. Um, I spent fifty dollars or sixty dollars on this. I'm about to see if it can take some abuse. I'm about to do some hardcore gaming on here. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, like I said, this is my first actual. Um, what you, I guess you would call it review video. I don't normally, like I said, I don't normally review things. Um, so, but I appreciate it. Um, you feel free to give me some advice on what I could do better or things that you like or didn't like. Of course, um, I would also appreciate if you like and subscribe. I do stream a lot on Facebook and YouTube, um, my gaming channel. But uh, thank you, thanks again for watching, and everybody, see you next time.